we are at the home of uh, the late uh, Professor Kuvadia, I can certainly tell you that uh, a number of uh, family friends as well as uh, you know, uh, those that he worked with have been coming here really to offer their words of uh, uh, condolences to the family and also to uh, be part uh, really of the short uh, service that has just been co concluded here. It's about to just, just to be uh, concluded here and then thereafter we will have obviously the uh, members of the family as well as friends going to the mosque for the official burial of uh, Professor Kovadia. But with me, uh, Lizel, I do have Judge Daya Pile, who's going to help us reflect really on the life and times of uh, Professor Kovadia. Judge, thank you so much for your time. I mean, a lot has been said about his role in the fight against, you know, inequality, in the fight for liberation, and also in the health fraternity. As close friends and family members, how do you obviously receive this news? Um, well, Jerry has been ill for a while um, and frail, but he has always been completely um, mentally with us. Um, he was, I was with him last night and we had a very long, deep conversation about something quite important. And he was, as usual, a mentor, a guide, a brother and a comrade. Um, he um, he was a, a friend, uh, not just to the immediate people who are here uh, and the family member to those who are attending, but he was actually a, a friend of the human race, actually. Um, what he's done for the community, the legacy he leaves, is not one that he designed, but one which came naturally, organically, from someone who was deeply, deeply committed to what he did, who could see right from wrong with a passion and um, grace, uh, with a clarity that many people sought to uh, sort him out for. Um, and his uh, wisdom uh, spans not just the medical field, mm. his politics, but he was an all-rounder. He loved music, uh, he loved uh, Beethoven's pastorals, piano concerto number seven, he loved Indian classical music. He related to the arts in a way that said that he was not a doctor, a medical man, but a man of the world. So he will be seriously missed. Uh, we will be having a memorial on Saturday at uh, 2 p.m. at the Hellenic Center until, until 4.30. It's open to whoever is available to attend. There will be an online link. And um, anyone who has a message for him, uh, please send it through to the family. I'm available to receive them and as far as possible we will have them read out but uh, we miss him before we get to the uh, official funeral which is later this afternoon can you just uh, take us through how the family is feeling at this particular point judge i think we're all numb anesthetized uh, for the moment um, as much as one expects his demise and everyone's demise uh, it's the irreversibility of the circumstances that we find ourselves now is quite intolerable. Um, it would take a long time to fill this gap and it will never be filled. And he comes from a generation of generally good human beings, which is hard to find these days. Someone who's committed, who was committed to society and its upliftment. So we are deeply, deeply saddened. How do you think South Africans uh, should remember uh, Professor Kovati? Uh, Jerry has written extensively. He's spoken widely. I uh, have not said anything about his history because you have to Google him and you'll know all about him. Um, recently we had a young man in this building um, 
interview Jerry and get his life story. So the youth of today are searching for information and for good people who made a contribution to South Africa. How would he be remembered? Not just for his medical contributions, for his insightfulness, his strategic sense of how to steer this country to democracy, for being on the planning commission, for participating there. His legacy is, runs wide. It's all over. And of course, he's got beautiful children, grandchildren, who are in themselves um, landmarks, labels uh, on this earth and will carry his memory forward. His wife is a remarkable person and she's taken on the responsibility of looking after Jerry's brother who is also quite frail uh, and is now living with her. So that's a legacy that Jerry and also Zubi uh, have cultivated, the spirit of giving, of sharing, of humanity and goodness. Did he get the recognition that he deserved, given, of course, the work that he has done throughout his life. Cherry has innumerable awards. There's no place on his walls for the awards he's received. Uh, he was content with what he received, but others would say that he deserved a lot more. Um, his latest award was a lifetime achievement from the International AIDS Organization and when he received it I asked him how do you feel about it and you must remember that Jerry was quite frail by this time his speech was slow and he said after thinking carefully he said it's good it's good and it's good that I'm alive to receive it Judge Pile, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was uh, Judge Daya Pile giving us really an insight into the life and times of uh, the late uh, Professor Kovadia. And of course, we have had also the president of uh, the country, His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa, sending the words of condolences and describing him as a giant, really, in the health uh, 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 sector. And of course, uh, we do know now that uh, the memorial service is going to be held on Saturday here in Durban. But the funeral service is going to be taking place later this afternoon as per the, you know, Muslim rituals.